Hi, you guys. It's Tina again. Okay, this one's mostly brooches, I think. So, we have this beautiful leaf brooch. As a maker. I can't see anything. <laughs> Where is it? Oh. Oh, it's Emmons. E M M O N S. That one's pretty. This one is a pendant and a brooch. It's older, I think. Well, it looks old. <laughs> no maker mark. Right? Right. This one is very pretty. No maker mark. This is a scarf clip. It's a pretty one though. Kind of looks Celtic. Oh, I like him. His legs move. He's a clown. He's a clown. He's a clown. No maker on him either. I don't know why they always open on their own. But isn't he cute? All of his stones are there that I can tell. Uh, maybe one's missing. No, it's there. Okay. We have this one, which has a little black in it. I don't know what that black is. But it's a pretty rhinestone one. This one is Marcusites. No name. Looks like an E. Or a swirl. It's very pretty. This one is like a ribbon knot. Oh, this one has a winker. Hmm. Carol Lee. Carol Lee. This is, uh, everybody's seen this before. Sarah Coventry. The A. That's the only one I have, I think. Oh, this one's beautiful. You put a photo in there. Yeah, you put a photo inside there. Let me see if it has a maker on it. Nope. No maker. Good condition. This one. It's really big. Oh, ouch. Pin got me. It has a AAA4. No, A444. Either A444 or 4 A's. I have no idea who that is. or I've seen this in videos before, though. Okay, this one is really cool. This comes off, so you can replace it with other things. I don't know what other things, but... Snaps back on. This one has a maker. I think. I found it online. Oh, there is a name there. Where's my... Loop. Here's my loop. Oh, Dottie. Hmm. Dottie something. It's on the bottom. It's pretty. This one's older. Well, it looks old because some of the stones, I mean, some of the pearls are, have lost their coating. No maker mark on this one. Well, it looks like there is. Well, I'm just wrong all over the place, aren't I? Let's see. Capri. C-A-P-R-I. I didn't see that before when I was searching for it. 
I have to research that one then. This is a little sunglasses brooch. I have two of these. Here's another one. The blue one. I have blue and white. They're cute. <laughs> this one's missing stones and it's been beat up a little bit. I don't think there's a name. There's something written there. Oh, made in Germany. Says it on the pin. I don't know what that's made out of. This one, I think, is unique. I've never seen anything like this online. It looks like it's made out of soda bottles. And there's a stem missing. You can see the stem part. But I still think it's cool by itself. I think all the inside has its stones. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have more brooches here. And pins. This is a JJ pin. A bird cage. I mean, a birdhouse. There's another one right here. This is also JJ. Got both of those. Pins. This is a pendant and or brooch. He's got little rhinestones for eyes. There you go. <laughs> I've seen this. I mean, I see a lot of them online. But he's in pretty good condition. Is there a maker? No, no maker. This one is beautiful. This one doesn't have a maker either. But it is so pretty. Oh, this one is a pendant and brooch. A lot of wear right there. Puppy love. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I think it's cute. I have more brooches in my drawer. But these are the ones I have handy right now. This one is sterling. With the gold on it. Not real gold. It's just sterling. With gold overlay. And it says. It says. Um, I don't know what it says. It's got a number. It's not 925. Can you see it? No I can't see it. But it's a really pretty bow. Delicate. This one is also sterling. It is a twins at Gemini. And it's made by It says D A V I N G Daving. Maybe. For that test sterling silver. This one test gold, I think. It's a very delicate flower. No markings. I think it tested 10 carat. I don't remember exactly. Oh, this one has a photo in it. But there's a bow and an old photo. Looks like a photo from the 70s. Um, no maker mark. That one's pretty. It's got a cold stone in the center. Could be jade. I don't have a tester, so. I would just have to guess. I like this one. I like old coins and stuff. This reminds me of a coin. Although it's not. Well, it could be, I guess. I don't know. But it's very pretty. Oh, this one is older, too, older looking to me. It just looks old to me. It's got something in there. Oh, it's just dots. You see them? I thought that was something. But nope. We have this one. 
Okay, missing a stone. No. This is the pattern. That one's pretty. No maker mark. Another bow with the pearl and rhinestones. No maker mark. Oh, I love these little ones. I think those, yeah, it's missing some a stone there. But it's so delicate and beautiful. It's got like a coral flower. I don't know if that's real coral, but. And we have this one. The sun. Very shiny sun. <laughs> we have this one. That one's pretty too. Oh, this one is material. It's uh has beads beaded in I mean sewn into it. Or wire. Yeah, it's like wire right here on the outside is like wire. And there's a bead in the center. And these are all like thick um either thick thread or wire. It's just got a safety pin on it. But I thought it was very pretty and unique. This is a JJ pendant, I guess, or charm. Has his name on it. JJ. This one, I think, is artisan made. Artisan made, I mean. Oops. I think it's cool. <laughs> oh, this one's really big. No maker mark. But it's huge. Isn't it? Oh, this one is handmade. I mean, yeah, handmade by a designer. Let's see. Her name is on the back. Her name is... Liz Tech. L-I-Z-T-E-C-H. It was made in 2006. It has the date 06 and her signature. So this one is like a collectible piece. And it has got little dangles on it. Crystals. Very pretty. And then I have this brooch. It's different. Is that a name? Yeah, it's a name. Oh, it's Sarah Coventry. Huh. The Sarah Coventry piece it needs to be shined up. Wiped down or something. But that's pretty. I've never seen that one online. This black stone has some gold right there. I see it? It's very pretty. So I had two Sarah Coventry pieces. Oh, and I got this brooch. I think someone added that center bead because in the pictures it's a gold bead of that I found of this one there's a name Emmons E-M-M-O-N-S again it's older there's some cufflinks in here too and uh oh this brooch here I replaced the sword. It came without the sword. So I found another brooch that was going to be put into craft. And I took the sword off. To make this one whole again. I got this one through the mail. I ordered it a lot. A craft lot. And this came in it. But it's not difficult to replace swords on these things. See it's sturdy. So there's that carousel horse. I have these cufflinks, which I think are really cool. No name. That's the same thing. Yeah, no name. But they're wood, and they lean. Can you see how they sit up? No, oh, this way. <laughs> there, like that. They lean. Oh, you can see that. Okay, those are those. These earrings are Sarah Coventry, I think. Yeah. I 
I think I've seen these on jewelry videos a lot. Here's a pair of earrings I put on the butterfly. These are... Is there a name on these? Yep. Let's see. Monet. So these are Monet. Very pretty. But I like to use the butterfly buttons. If I ever sell anything. <laughs> I got these completely black earrings. The wire, everything is black. Very pretty. A pair of those. I have a pair of Cloisonne butterfly post earrings. Oops. Very pretty. Oh, these are so gorgeous to me. They're little clip-ons. Tiny little clip-ons. And they look like four-leaf clovers. But they're blue. No name on them. But I think they are so sweet. And so tiny. I have these cufflinks. Glass. They're huge, aren't they? Glass cufflinks there. Oh, these earrings I like too. Oh, they're all tangled up now. These are... Oh, different. <laughs> these are the glass. The gold inside the glass. Very pretty. And I like earrings that have these long wires. These long earring wires. I have another pair here. This has got a stone in it. I don't know what the stone is, but it is a stone. And it, it's not like the other ones, but it still has a long ear wire. Very pretty, huh? Can you, you guys know what stone that is? Don't. This would look good with that green and white stone necklace I showed in one of my videos. These I turned into earrings. A little shark's tooth. Here's another pair of black earrings. Let's see if you can see one whole one. Oops, turn around. Show the stone. Why is it not laying flat? Weird. There it is. Completely black. They have this kind of opening. I don't know what those are called. Lieberback, maybe? And I thought these were cool. And they have something written on them. On this. On the ear back. But I can't figure it out for nothing. It goes all the way around. Completely around it. And I do not know who the maker is. There's that other butterfly. But those are cool hoops. And here... These I think are Edgar Burberry. Burberry? Something like that. I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive. but What is this in my hand? Oh. It's a... Micro mosaic pendant, very tiny, but these are beautiful. Clip ons. His name's not on it, but he always uses stickers, so it could come off. They should put his name on for real. <laughs> and here are a very old pair of cufflinks that belong to my father. They're from Wedgwood. I think it says something else. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are sterling. They have a lot of silver marks on them. I'm pretty sure these are sterling too. I keep them in this little bag. Because they're special. 
and that's it for that part. I have right here, I'm pretty sure this is red jasper, because I have a necklace that matches the bracelet, so it's like a set. It's in good condition, it's got these brass balls on it, which are really cool. I think they're awesome. This is a really heavy necklace, with the weight of the stone and the weight of the brass. Then, this one is really cool. Oh, it has a maker mark. Um, oh, you and I. Look at that. Big, giant bead. Look at how big it is. This is a Wilma Flintstone, for sure. And it's got a toggle clasp on it. In beautiful condition. This one here is bone. And it has a hidden clasp um, right here. Let's see, a barrel clasp back. Pretty sure it's bone. They're little roses, carved roses. And then I have this beautiful heart pendant with all those colors on it. I added it to a chain. I don't think the chain is anything. No. Let's see, this bracelet has a safety clasp on it. Opens. I don't see any maker mark. No. How come it's not closing? I can't see. There it goes. It closed. Pretty, pretty. This is just a etched gold tone or copper bracelet. This one is cool. It has the safeties on it. Ow. That went right up my fingernail. And this one has a name. Um... Lauren Adams. Right there. A little pink on it. Oh, it closed. Okay. But I love the color of this one. It's so pretty. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> okay. I had to snap shut. But it's, a very, it's very heavy, too. Super heavy. This one had a name. Um, you and I again. Clamper. I don't think it's missing anything. It's a very pretty bangle. This necklace here. Which I think is just gorgeous. Oops. Do you like that one? That one's pretty. This is an Alex and Ani bracelet. I've never seen them like this with the glass beads and the silver tone. Very pretty. This necklace has matching earrings. That's why I keep it in a bag. Here's the earring. It's got like an amber look to it, but it's, I don't think it's amber. There's the earrings. Both of them. And then the necklace. It's very pretty. It has a really large lobster clasp. Oh, it has a maker. Who is it? Okay. I can't see. I hang my loop for everything. It says Simona... Colini, stainless steel, Italy. But it's a really beautiful set, so I keep them together. So I don't lose the earrings. <laughs> oh, this pendant I thought was so cool when I got it in the jar. It just looks like a piece of ice melting. 
Isn't that cool? There were marks on it. Like somebody wrote their name, but I can't see it. It's worn off. But it does look like an ice cube melting, doesn't it? And I put it on a chain. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit the camera again. I'm going to do that every time, I know. <laughs> this is a... Hmm. BJ. Betsy Johnson. Yeah. Betsy Johnson piece. It's very pretty. It's hooked to something, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> Well, there's the BJ. It's just tangled on itself. There's another stone here. So that's all tangled up. This is made by a designer, handmade, also. Um, the designer, and it has a little lion on here. Let's see. It is made by... Boo Boo Stewart. Boo Boo Stewart on that side and says, uh, Kate Mesta. But this is handmade. It's one of a kind type of thing. Here's another brooch. I can't remember if this one tested sterling or not. It looks sterling. No maker mark. I guess I should test it over just to see. I have a cloisonne ring with the blue on the inside. Very tiny. I don't even think it would fit my pinky. No, I got really big fingers. This is probably about a six. I have a ring sizer. Yeah, I don't have it here. <laughs> don't have it here. I have these beautiful glass earrings. The other one's in here somewhere. Oh, right here. There's the other one. This is Mark by Mark Jacobs. Bows. Really big clasp. There's his name. Mark by Mark Jacobs. It is a very pretty bracelet. Bronze in color. I like that one. This is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? It's got all the stones. Right here where the clasp is, I think, is missing something, maybe, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's like that, so you can open and close it. Which, I don't, I can't see how to do it. Oh, I just pushed down on it. Opened it. And it's closed. But it's beautiful. Like a choker. Right there on your collar bone. And these are real pearls. I guess these are called button pearls or something like that. Really pretty clasp. This is by Anne Klein. This is an Anne Klein necklace. With all those pretty dangles on it. Which are plastic, I think. Yeah. And the chain itself has little knots in it. What is this one? Oh, this is pearl also. Rice pearl. Tiny. Maybe not rice pearls, but tiny little pearls. Box clasp, very pretty and delicate, heavy. This is a choker, which I thought was just really beautiful. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that in my friend mail. This glows in the dark. It's a real beetle, which creeped me out the first time I saw it. But it glows in the dark. I thought that was different. That's a beautiful... Necklace pendant. 
I think that's it now. Let me see what's in here. Oh, I showed that. I think I showed these. These earrings. Which I think are really pretty. That go with this. I thought it would look nice with this. What do you guys think? Do you think that looks nice together? It's a really big puffy heart. And these are really nice hanging earrings. Dangles. I have a flower ring here. Stretchy. Stretchy ring. Oh. Yeah. That's not fixed yet. I made these earrings. Oops. They are really cool. Yellow tone. I like them. They go with this necklace that's not fixed yet. But I'm going to fix it. <laughs> These pearls, um, I'm pretty sure are real. And the clasp might be sterling, but I'm not sure. But they're really old. They look old. They have like a blue tinge to them, or tint to them. I don't know if you guys can see the blue. doesn't look like it. Let's see. Move it around. No. But they're really heavy and old looking. Oh, this I made. I glued that flower onto this plain locket. I haven't put it on a chain yet. I put that together. These earrings are cool too. They have angels on them. Oh, and this hairpin. Isn't that hairpin just too cute? Let's see. What else do I have in this little bag here? Oh, I like this. This piece. It is just beautiful to me. I love bead caps. And some of these have two bead caps. Some have one that has one that has one. And the pearls. Two bead caps here, here. I don't know whoever made it. Just didn't use bead caps on all of them just some of them but it is so pretty I just love looking at it let's see there's a bunch of chain in here oh this is sterling but it doesn't stay shut so I'm probably just gonna end up scrapping it I can't get it to stay shut See, it's in, and then it... Well, this has a little latch right here. That's the only way it's staying shut at all. Is that little latch. Which I've never seen that before, this little latch thing. I think it's cool. It only has it on one side. But the latch doesn't keep it from opening either. <laughs> so that's going to be scrapped. I love lockets. I, I keep a lot of lockets. Just because they're... I think lockets are beautiful. And interesting. I just like to keep them. Let's see, what is that? Nothing. Okay, that's gonna be it then. Everything I showed you guys one of a kind pieces, glass earrings, and my brooches. I have a lot more brooches, but those are the ones that I showed you. And I hope you guys comment and have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye bye.